your bite-sized daily roundup of the biggest news from the world of film. This is The Daily Reel with Van Connor. Good morning, it's Monday and it's July the 19th. It's 26 years today since the classic teen comedy Clueless was released, Trainspotting celebrates its 25th anniversary, and it's 8 years today since the release of the very first Conjuring movie. It's birthday of the beloved Benedict Cumberbatch, Supernatural's Jared Padalecki, and legendary director Abel Ferrara. But more than anything, it's the day all of this is happening. The Cannes Film Festival saw a chaotic awards ceremony this weekend as director and jury president Spike Lee accidentally announced the grand prize winner several hours early. The confusion came as the event's hostess asked the Black Klansman Helmer to announce the evening's first prize. In the confusion and anxiety of the big show, Lee evidently mistook her meaning and instead announced the first place winner of the Palm d'Or. That winner, incidentally, was Raw director Julia de Corno's Titane, which had already caused controversy at the festival on account of being a Cronenbergian body horror tale about a woman pregnant from sex with a car and lactating oil, passing herself off as a distraught man's long-lost son to avoid police after killing a sexual assailant. Fun for the whole family. De Corno's win instantly doubles the number of female Palm d'Or winners. She's also the first to win it solo. Meanwhile, Spike Lee's blunder naturally courted comparisons to 2017's Oscars farce, in which La La Land was mistakenly named Best Picture before being corrected to Moonlight. Though for Lee's part, he did seem genuinely apologetic. Appearing later on in the show, the iconic director said, In 63 years of life, I've learned that people get a second chance. This is my second chance. I apologize for messing up. It took a lot of suspense out of the night, I understand. It wasn't on purpose. Titane is currently awaiting a theatrical release date, but is expected to hit cinemas before the end of this year. Guys, I'm sorry. No. This, there's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. Moonlight won. Come on, this is not a joke. Come this on. is not a joke. I'm afraid they read the wrong thing. This is not a joke. Moonlight has won Best Picture. Martial arts legend and former Bond girl Michelle Yeoh has let slip about her role in Marvel's forthcoming Shang-Chi, and has also spoiled a fair chunk of the film's very secretive plot. The Star Trek Discovery actress has been promoting her new movie Gunpowder Milkshake for Netflix, and was asked about her role as Zhang Yi in the groundbreaking picture, in which she stars opposite Simu Liu's new hero. In an interview with Collider, she said, We are so happy that we are having our first Asian superhero, and not just superhero, but superheroines around him as well and I'm a guardian of a mythical city. These young people come in and they have to learn how to protect history and to protect not just this world, but the worlds that are around us from the demons that are locked away. So it's magic, it's reality, so many things happening and it's a lot of fun. Yo's quote actually constitutes the most we know of the movie's plot so far, with Marvel officials having been characteristically vague on the project. The new details also further align with the rest of Marvel Studios' Phase 4, with the already released WandaVision and Loki, and the soon-to-be-released Spider-Man No Way Home and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, all dealing with elements of parallel worlds and timelines. As for mythical cities, many Marvel fans are speculating this could be in reference to the comics Kun Lun, an ancient city of powerful warriors located in its own pocket dimension, which lines up, though also terrifyingly invites ties to the much blind Iron Fist. Either way, we'll find out for sure when Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings arrives in cinemas on the 3rd of September. One woman tactical response. Vidraish has officially reached its nadir. A fancy vocabulary doesn't mean you're scary. It means you have a thesaurus. Shoot her. No, shoot him. He's gonna get you killed. And finally, Antonio Banderas has joined the cast of Indiana Jones 5. There's no word on just who Banderas will be playing in the hotly anticipated sequel, though the actor has moseyed his way onto a packed cast list that also includes Phoebe Waller-Bridge, Mads Mikkelsen, Boyd Holbrook, Seanette Renee Wilson, Toby Jones and the man himself, Harrison Ford. The film is currently shooting in the north of England under the direction of Logan's James Mangold, from a script he co-wrote with Jez and John Henry Butterworth. Plot details are currently completely under wraps, though set photos make clear that India will again be facing off against his old enemies, the Nazis. In addition, rumours this past weekend suggest Waller Bridge will be playing the daughter of legacy character and fan favourite Marcus Brody. Still awaiting an official title, Indiana Jones 5 is pegged for release on the 29th of July next year. Now ye auger, pray for mercy from... Puss! 
Ooh, it's... Ooh. Out on DVD and Blu-ray today is the buzzy horror comedy Werewolves Within, while Mubi are adding Carol Russopolis' The Prostitutes of Leon Speak and The Condemned and Duplicity come to Amazon Prime. On Freeview tonight are The Bourne Ultimatum and Van Helsing on ITV4, The Maze Runner, The Equalizer 2 and 71 on Film 4, My Girl, Rat Race, The General's Daughter and How I Spent My Summer Vacation are showing on great movies, Mercury Rising and Creed are on the Paramount Network, and the Horror Channel have got The Quiet Ones and Redcon 1. While the Sky Cinema and now premiere today is Sia's controversial music. And that was your Daily Reel for Monday, July 19th. Keep it cinematic, and we'll see you again tomorrow. The Daily Reel is a Candy Saw production, presented by Van Connor and written by Calvin Prickett. All information is correct at the time of writing, and source links are in the description for each episode. Don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe on all good podcast platforms, or ask Alexa to install the Daily Reel skill for your morning flash briefing. Follow the show on social at Daily Reel Pod, and we'll be back every weekday. Until then, keep it cinematic. 